Zooming in now to talk about the Reggae Girls' journey to Australia and New Zealand is assistant coach to the Reggae Girls, Xavier Gilbert. Hey, coach, morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Hi. Thanks, and good morning, and good morning to all our listeners. Man, it looks dark viewers. outside. What time, of, what time of night or day is it where you are in Australia? It's um, some minutes to 10 here in Australia. Ah, all right. Just want to make sure we keep on time with you because we want to, to make sure we're watching and, and clocking in. So I'm going to set my watch on your time. Coach, it's been quite a journey for this Reggae Girls team. Um, and not just this specific team, but the girls in general. Uh, there was a point when we thought, oh, you know, probably they'll never make it. And then things turned around and they made their first qualification. What do you think made the difference um, in that very first time that took these girls to the World Cup? Um, the first time, I think, um, playing some good games. I think qualifying for the Pan American Games and getting some good games against good opposition like um, Colombia, mm -hmm. Mexico, Costa Rica, mm -hmm. gave, gave some good quality games and, and to see where the team is at and how they can compete at that level. I think that, that, that gave us a little bit of edge and hence we qualified for the first World Cup. Yeah, I, I'm glad you used the word quality because I think one of the things that's great about this team is the quality of players. I mean, obviously, most people will talk about Bonnie Shaw because Bonnie Shaw is a global, like he's a world champion when you talk about football. But when you look across the reggae girls team in general, we have top female players in the world, correct? Oh, sure. Um, we have quality players. Um, you mentioned Khadija Shaw is one of them. Yeah. Jody Brown, um, the likes of Drew Spence, who played at Chelsea for years, won many titles with Chelsea. Yeah. Um, Rebecca Spencer, who is at Tottenham. Um, Atlanta Primus, who also won and, and, and got promotion mm -hmm. to the top league in England. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, we have some quality players, um, both who have done well at um, the professional level, and some players like um, Kiki Van Zatten, who played at Notre Dame mm -hmm. um, in the college circuit, Sidney Schneider. So, um, so really some quality players who did well on the college circuit in, in, in the US and who have been doing well for their clubs um, in Europe. Do you think that's part of the reason why this team seems to have such great chemistry? That the girls have been exposed to a level of professionalism that once they take the pitch, um, it's, it's just all business. That, of course, um, and the camaraderie, I think they gel very well. Mm -hmm. um, they're used to playing in, in, in similar competition and we, we, use, we have the services of a lot of players who played in the qualifiers um, and, and in, 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 who have been in camps over the period of time. So they would have developed that, that chemistry and the love and, and just rearing to go for Jamaica. Yeah. What's it been like on the ground since you've been there in terms of, um, first of all, the reception to the reggae girls? Because I know people love Jamaica all over the world, you know. So, so what's the reception been like? I mean, everywhere we go. And I must give credit to, to FIFA and the organizers and the, the, the local organizing committee. It was a smooth transition in, in, in coming through the airport um, um, getting to the to the hotel, everything has been good. Um, lots of um, persons welcoming Jamaica. A lot of them, um, where there's some Jamaicans living in Australia. You know, everywhere you go in the world, you'll find the Jamaicans. Yeah. And they have shown and, and pledged their support. They come to the hotel, um, offered to, to 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 give their support in terms of anything that we need. Mm -hmm. um, and they have been there supporting supporting um, the ladies. Excellent. Support is going to be important because. Jamaica is drawn in a very tough group, <laughs> coach. I'm not lie. I mean, we're playing what? France, Brazil. Um, how do you feel going up against um, those, those top ranked teams? Um, to be honest, we know it's going to be tough. And once you're in the World Cup, in order for, for us to improve, we have to continue to be teams who, who are ranked above us. Yeah. Um, and teams who, 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 who are um, naturally and who have been on the World Cup stage for, for quite a number of times. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we are very optimistic in terms of our chances and what we can do mm -hmm. in this World Cup. We have two teams ranked in the top 10 in our group. We are aware of that and we have prepared. I think we have done our homework and um, we're going to put our best foot forward in, 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 in both games. Yeah, because when I looked at it, I thought to myself, uh, wow, Jamaica is playing some teams that have 
totally different styles of play. I mean, when you're looking at the French team and then you look at a Brazilian team, you know in terms of how they attack, their defense, how everything is structured, um, it's going to require our team being able to be more dynamic and, and to be more inventive in how we, we come against them on, on the field. We, we have the depth, sir. We have the depth. Yes, we do. Um, and I mean, I'm sure some of the teams and these teams are planning for us as well. Yeah. Khadija, who have played in, in France for um, a couple of years and did well there, um, they are aware of that. And um, they, they know the likes and they know what she has been doing over the world. Jody Brown, the likes of the Drew Spence and Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So they are, they are also doing their homework and we want them to worry about us as well. So, um, because they're not gonna take a slide for sure. No. Um, they know and they've seen what we have, how we have grown. And I think the tournament that we came here in Australia in February in Sydney did as well, where we played um, Spain, Australia, and um, Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. um, the result weren't weren't as best as we'd have liked, mm -hmm. but our performances and the exposure of playing those top nations and those top teams um, really did as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying Brazil and France. Panama is, is I don't think, is a joke either. We just saw how well their team did in the Gold Cup. So I know it's not going to be easy for the reggae girls, but, man, I have so much faith in them, coach. And not a lie. I think these girls are going to come out. And they've already done us proud, and, and I think they'll do themselves proud. Um, before you go, I have to make you heal up somebody, you know, coach. You can't join me from so far. And don't, and don't heal up somebody. <laughs> All right, um, I just want to um, say hi to all the Jamaican fans and continue to support us. Yeah, yeah that's important. Thank you so much, um, Assistant Coach Xavier Gilbert. Support is important for these girls. They're coming up against a tough team. They start on Thursday and then they play again on Sunday. But you'll hear more about that um, when Kayon and, and Andrew join us later on. Stay with us. You'll be getting a preview of what to expect from TVJ's coverage of the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup when we return. Soon come.